Welcome. Today, I'm excited to show you how I built an AI-powered version of a popular cheating audio story YouTube channel, a long-form content channel featuring 20 to 30-minute videos. This channel consistently posts three to four new videos every day, and in just a few months, it's been generating around $50,000 annually and was even sold for $30,000, all from AI-generated content. What's even more exciting is that we're going to automate the entire process using AI agents, no coding required. From script writing and thumbnail creation to video rendering, everything runs on autopilot. Absolutely. Our workflow is an upgraded version that supports generating long-form stories with final videos capable of running for several hours. If you're ready to jump in and want the fastest, easiest way to create faceless YouTube videos that actually earn money, this is it. If you're interested in building workflows like this with unlimited free video creation, I invite you to join our premium community. You'll get access to all major paid APIs for free, live support, and exclusive step-by-step -step tutorials just like this one. All right, let's dive in. We'll be working on a VPS. That means both N8N and our video generation project will run on the same machine. But don't worry, if you prefer using your local computer, the steps are exactly the same. First, we'll SSH into the VPS using its IP address. Once inside, we'll create a folder called Longform. Then we'll CD into that folder where all our project setup will live. Here, we'll install the necessary packages and dependencies. Just follow along with the commands provided in this lesson. We'll install FFmpeg for handling media tasks like merging video and processing captions. We'll also install Screen so our video generation can run in the background without needing an open terminal. Next, we'll install GDown and unzip, so we can download the project source code from Google Drive and extract it easily. Once those are installed, we'll run the commands from the lesson to download the project files. We'll then create a project environment and install all the required libraries. The download uses the Google Drive file ID of our project package. Finally, we'll use the uvicorn command to run the initial file, starting our project on port 9999. And just like that, our project is live. At this point, all third-party libraries are installed. Our project is running successfully on port 9999. That means we can now send requests directly to this port from our VPS. Now let's connect it with N8N. We'll create a new project. Then we'll import the prepared starter nodes. You'll find the file available in this lesson. Once imported, you'll see the generate video node, which is the heart of our automation. Now, let's look at how this node communicates with our API. Normally, since both N8N and the code run on the same VPS, we could just use localhost or 0.0.0, .0 but here's the catch. Our N8N instance is running inside Docker, and Docker works like a mini virtual machine inside your VPS. So if you call localhost from inside N8N, it only sees Docker's own environment, not the VPS host. To solve this, we'll grab the gateway IP address of the Docker Bridge Network. We can find it with the command Docker Network Inspect Bridge. This gateway IP acts as the bridge between the Docker container and the host VPS. It's essentially the entry and exit point for traffic between them. So, when we want an AN to call our API on the host machine, we'll use this gateway IP. That way, our N8N container can reach the project API running on port 9999. Back in N8N, let's configure the body JSON data for the generate video node. Don't forget to insert your personal 02 launch API key in the header. Here we can choose any voice from Kokoro Voices. You can remove the text field and use the audio underscore URL to input your own voiceover service if you prefer. However, here I'm sticking with the Kokoro voice, so we'll only use the text field. By default, it uses the AF Heart voice, but let's try customizing it. We can also adjust the speech speed, pick a font for captions, and set the font size. The lesson includes a full font list. We'll use Luckiest Guy as our demo, since it mimics the channel style we want. We can also adjust caption alignment using values from 1 to 9. For now, we'll stick with 5, which centers the caption on the video. Next, we'll set up the N8N webhook URL. This is important because it tells the project where to send the final video once it's processed. We'll configure this webhook in a separate workflow. 
So when the project finishes rendering, it will send the video link to that webhook. From there, we can use an HTTP request node to fetch and download the video automatically. Finally, inside the body data, we have a text with sample data to test the audio voice, and we'll also set the video underscore URL field. This is the background video that will loop and extend to match the entire final video length. And that's it, our automation is fully connected. So far, we've set up the VPS, installed dependencies, downloaded the project, and got it running. We've connected N8N to the project using the gateway IP. And we've configured the generate video node with captions, voice, fonts, and the webhook workflow. In the next part, we'll actually test the automation and see our first long form video generated end to end. Before we run a full test, we'll temporarily disable the generate long story node. This way, we can start small and just test the sample text for voice audio and captions. It's always a good idea to confirm the basics are working before going big. Next, inside the long form folder, we'll create an environment file. Here, we'll set the gateway IP as the base URL. Why? Because this ensures our project can send the final video URL back to the webhook node in N8N. Now it's time to hit the execute button in N8N. At the same time, we'll also run the webhook trigger to catch the incoming response. This lets us test the full flow end to end, even with just a sample text. Once the video is done rendering, the project will send the final video URL straight to our webhook node. From there, the URL will automatically transfer to the download video node. This is a test of the video generation API. The background is a looping video and the captions have a default style. And just like that, we'll have the finished video link ready to watch right inside our workflow. Awesome, that means our setup is working exactly as expected. We've confirmed the captions, the voiceover, and the connection between N8 and our project. And now, we're ready to move on to full long-form generation with confidence. We've successfully tested the video generation process with sample captions. Now it's time to run the real long story using our Stream Long Story API. First, make sure to enter your API key in the request header. This API is powerful. It can generate consistent stories of up to one hour of video and audio. In the body JSON, we can prompt it to create any type of story we want. The API will then split the full story into chapters based on the word count parameter. Word count here is just an estimate. If you set 1000, it usually generates closer to 2000 words. Next, we need to pass the story output into the body input of the generate video node. Because we're sending such a long text, we'll use the new JSON syntax to safely convert it into valid JSON. This prevents any errors during validation. You'll see the text field here. This is where the story from the previous node is passed in. We also need to update the webhook URL. Right now, we're still in test mode. That means the webhook only listens when we manually click the execute button, and it only catches one request at a time. To fix that, we'll switch to the production webhook URL. Then, we'll make the webhook workflow active, so it's always listening. This way, we no longer need to manually trigger it. There's one more thing, if we close the terminal or press Ctrl plus C, the server shuts down, and if that happens, we can't process video generation requests. To keep it running in the background, we'll use the screen package we installed earlier. We'll create a new screen session called Longform. Then we'll run the uvicorn command to launch the API, just like before. Now to detach from the session while keeping it running, press Ctrl plus A then D. This returns us to the main terminal while the API continues running in the background. We can always list active screens with screen ls. And we can reattach to a specific screen using the this command. All right, let's head back to the workflow and start generating a long story video. You can see that our 02 launch long story API just generated a massive story about 4,000 words. The generate video node then returned a task ID. This task ID is used to track and retrieve the corresponding video. We can also view the logs of the video generation process in real time. This confirms that our post request was successful and that the video task is now running. All we need to do is wait for the generation to finish.
Once the video is ready, we can go to the Executions tab of the Webhook workflow. Here we'll see the latest result. In our test, the system generated a very long story video, about 1 GB in size, with a duration of 21 minutes. And right here we can see the video URL that N8 N retrieved from the VPS. Now remember this URL still uses the gateway IP that works internally between N8 and the API, but not for downloading outside. To make the video downloadable, we'll switch the gateway IP to the actual VPS IP address. This way we can download it directly from a browser or any external request. You can either copy this direct link and download it yourself, or simply use the download video node in N8N to pull it automatically. Once the download is finished, let's open it up and play our final video. The room tilts, the air quivering like a struck string, when the truth erupts in Kale's ears as if dragged from a depth he didn't know existed. Verk's smile unfurls, only beginning in the quiet, unglamorous hours that followed. A man who had given something essential away would have to learn. The room tilts, the air quivering like a struck string, when the truth erupts in Kale's ears as if dragged from a depth he didn't know existed. Verk's smile unfurls, slow and precary the memory of a brighter dawn even as the knight insisted on testing him again. And there we have it, we've successfully generated a full long-form story video with captions, voiceover, and background video fully automated inside NAN. This wraps up the first part of our long-form story video workflow. We've set up the project, tested captions and voice, and generated a full story video from start to finish. In the next video, we're going to take things further. We'll learn how to take any thumbnail photo and convert it into a background video. We'll do this using our 02 launch image to video API. The throne room is a mouth still coughing ash as Kalos lands on the- And here's the exciting part. We can also create unlimited creative background videos by first using text to image to generate the perfect first frame. Then we'll pass that frame into our image to video API to generate the full background video. Awesome, right? This means we'll no longer be limited to a single looping background. Instead, we can create custom backgrounds that perfectly match the story we're telling. But that's not all. We'll also upgrade to an advanced workflow. In this version, we won't just generate the story video. We'll also automatically create a title, a description, and even a thumbnail image that's related to the story. All of these story video title, description, and thumbnail will be stored neatly in a sheet file. This makes everything easier to track, organize and manage for future publishing. So get ready, our workflow is about to become even more powerful. I'll see you in the next video.